eating. So, Mike, what's going on here? The the taco is currently eating people and supplies to make burritos. Mm -hmm. They they just seem to be filling it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but it's very, very fascinating because... They, they brought out a little cart earlier mm -hmm. and put something on the cart to give to the as an offering mm. to the taco truck. Right? Were they taking something from the taco truck or giving something to the taco truck? Don't know. It might have been a sacrifice of the taco truck. It mm -hmm. might have been an offering to mm -hmm. the taco truck. Mm -hmm. But it is it is mm -hmm. quite fascinating. And and you see here, uh, this man is is in there doing something. Mm -hmm. And. Any speculation as to what he might be doing? Kind of looks like he's cleaning. Mm -hmm. He is grooming the taco truck. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's there's another person. He, he has entered the taco truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, the taco truck ate him. He's just gone. Oh, there's the other one. Yeah, they're, they're both gone. No clue what's going on. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. The visual has been lost. Is it possible that they are the sacrifices for the taco truck. It is possible. It's very intriguing. Hmm. Never in your life have you ever seen something so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's back. Okay. Oh, so they are cleaning out the taco truck. Apparently it is uh, very dirty. Okay. Bag of garbage. Okay, all right. We're, we're, Continuing to... I would imagine that some of our very own students, Michael, have generated some of that garbage right there. That That is quite possible. We did break that van that one day, uh, mm -hmm. getting, getting oh, yeah. tacos. Did Chris tell you about his crazy lady they ran into at the taco truck? No. The last day before we went on our trip to California, there was an incident with a lady who was, uh, didn't quite have all her screws tightened. Obviously, the tacos did not bless her. Yeah. Which is a shame. Because they are delicious. They are delicious. Mm -hmm. And nutritious. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. In California, we saw a taco truck that had, like, neon lights all around it lit up. What? Open till, like, late at night. That must have been a lord of the taco trucks. It was just... awesome. We didn't get a chance to go, but it was it was pretty cool. It doesn't seem like they're doing anything other than really cleaning it, so. Yeah. It's very fascinating. It's good to know they clean it. I mean, I like to know that my taco truck is kept clean. Same. I really want to know which one this is. Oh, it might be blowing our cover here. Yeah, this might be pretty, uh, I might have to kind of like go dark for a minute here. Oh, he didn't notice us. Okay. See, he's so focused on his service to the taco truck that he didn't even have time to notice us. Obviously brainwashing. <clears throat> you think so, or dedication? I don't know. It might be their god. Hmm. Could be. That might be dedication. Depends on how, uh, how they view the taco truck, honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think this is probably going to be the end of, uh, ooh, this is going to be close. Gonna be close? Good. We were, we, we stayed unnoticed. Yep. Nice, nice work, nice work camouflaging yourself, Michael. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we're all good. All right, so this will conclude uh, session three of our Tokyo truck documentary. Got excited there for a little bit. In fact, I like to call it a talkumentary. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Well played. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that, that is no copyright. Oh. Mm hmm. Patent pending. Feel free to use it for now. Pay the royalties later. Yep. Well, for now, this is Michael and Jason again signing off. Session number three of the documentary. Have a nice day. Good night.